Hi guys, it's me, Liz. I'm back with another social emotional lesson for you. I have missed you guys. I'm so sorry it's taking me so long to post again, but with remote schooling starting back up, I've been pretty busy. But I am back with some more lessons for adults and kids to help build the social emotional skills that we all need. <laughs> I'm sure we all saw those videos that were making their rounds. You know, the ones where you put a fruit snack in front of your kid and tell them not to eat it, walk away and see if they can listen. We probably thought that the only skill kids were practicing with this was their listening skills, but did you know that there was another skill that these kids were practicing? Hmm. Any guesses? That's right, my friends. These kids are practicing patience. And today we're going to be learning all about how to practice patience. I mean, I'm sure your family's only told you to be patient like a million times, right? But do we even know what it means? When someone tells you to be patient, what does that actually mean? Hmm. Patience is being able to put up with problems or trouble without getting angry or frustrated. Like, there are times where things might not come easy for you. Or even quick enough. Like when you're practicing how to ride a bike for the first time. Or when you have to wait your turn with your favorite toy at school. Or maybe there's times where you're asked to wait. Or do something that you don't even like to do. Like standing in a really long line or being asked to wait to get that reward that you worked so hard to earn. All of these things take patience. And trust me, friends, it's not easy being patient. I still have to practice being patient, and I'm almost 30. Whoa. Being able to do these things without flipping your lid means that you have patience. Now, don't worry. Being patient doesn't always come easy. It takes practice, just like any other social skill we've talked about. But did you know that there are things that you can do to practice being patient? And did you know that the more you practice something, the better you become at it? Yay! Do you want to hear what they are? One way to get better at being patient is to do more things that require you to be patient. I know, that doesn't seem like oh. much fun, but I promise it's worth it in the end. You could do things like a hard puzzle on your own, or wait before you can have that treat or choose the longer line to stand in instead of the shorter one. Okay, now, if you're anything like me, some of these things could make you start to have those big feelings and you might wanna start flipping your lid. Remember, having patience is being able to control your emotions and your anger and your frustration when you are faced with a problem or trouble. So while you're practicing things and you start to feel yourself getting upset uh. or uncomfortable, stop and take a deep breath. Once we have calmed ourselves down enough after that deep breath, I want you to think about why you're uncomfortable. What is the reason that you are uncomfortable right now? For example, is it hard to be patient while doing a new puzzle because it's hard? Or if you're waiting to eat that treat, is it hard to be patient because you're hungry maybe? Or when you're standing in that long line, are you uncomfortable because you're bored or tired? Maybe your legs hurt and you really wanna sit down. It's really good to name your actual feeling. What is making me feel uncomfortable? That is the reason that it is hard to be patient in that moment. Okay, nice job guys. Once you've taken your deep breath and figured out why you are feeling these feelings, I want you to say them out loud. So for example, if you're getting really, really frustrated working on that puzzle and you just don't have the patience to finish it, stop, take a deep breath, and then say to yourself, I'm having a hard time with this because it is hard. And once we've named our feelings, then we can go on from there. Now that you know why you're having such a hard time, there are things that you can do to get back to being calm and patient. I bet you wanna know what they are. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you. Of course, you can take some deep breaths. You know, this is my favorite. Three big deep breaths, nice and long. Then you could practice some mindfulness, and I'll have another video on this another time. But mindfulness is really focusing in on your surroundings. So you could focus on your breath, or focus on the taste of something, or the smell of something, or the things that you see around you. Maybe you just need to take a break, and that's okay. If you're working on that really hard puzzle and you're starting to lose patience, walk away for a minute and come back to it. Or, and this one is my favorite, Sometimes when you're waiting in line or waiting for something, you can do things to take your mind off of being bored. This can really help with being patient. For example, you could count to 100 in your head or sing your favorite song or games you can even play with a friend if you're waiting for a long time. It's that time again, story time. 
Okay, you guys, I can't lie to you. This is something that I really, really struggle with. Being patient is probably one of the hardest things for me, especially when it comes to standing in a line. Oh, whenever it comes time to choose a line, I always try and go for the shortest line. And whenever there's a long line somewhere, I usually just skip it. I would rather skip the fun nope. than stand in a line. Doesn't that just seem kind of silly to you? Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Next time there's a long line for something that I was looking forward to, I'm going to choose to stand in that line, okay? I'm gonna practice being patient. And while I'm standing in that line, once I start to feel really uncomfortable, I'm going to follow the steps that we just talked about. I'm going to take my deep breath and I'm gonna try and figure out why I'm feeling uncomfortable. Am I bored? Am I hungry? Am I tired? Do I need to sit down? Once I figure it out, I'm gonna whisper it out loud. I'm gonna say, I'm feeling uncomfortable right now because I'm so bored. And then I am able to figure out how to solve that problem so that I can be more patient. If the problem is that I'm just feeling really bored, there are things that I can do to pass the time. If I'm with someone, we can play a game like I Spy maybe, or if I'm by myself, I can always sing the lyrics of my favorite song. Sometimes I might go on my phone too much. And this is something I'm really working on because I want to practice patience without having to look at a screen. And that's something that you can work on too. If you're waiting for a really long time, it's good to be able to build those skills of being patient without having a screen to look at to take your mind off of it. Okay, friends, there you have it. Practicing patience is going to take some time. So be patient with it. Some days will be easier than others, but just remember that everybody's in the same boat. As always, my friends, make sure to subscribe for some more social emotional videos. And I hope that you find this helpful and you can practice patience in your everyday life. See you next time. Bye. Mama. Okay. Go potty. You can have some when I come back from potty. Do you have one? I ate four. You had some? You had some while I was going potty? Yeah. Was it too hard to be patient? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs>